Alright guys, I don't know how focused this is on me right now. We're fixing to head to the gym. Um, it is a little late. Oh no, not too late. It's 11.54 right now, so basically noon. We're headed to the gym for a squat session. Uh, I'm just getting everything ready to go. Um, and yeah, it's we're going to make this a much better week than last week. Last week, low-key was just kind of terrible, um, lost focus, just food, like eating wasn't right, sleep was awful, stress was super high, so we're gonna, we're gonna come back this week, um, and yeah, we got the new Jordans on, the Midnight Navies y'all saw in the last video, they're, uh, they're ready to go, I don't know, it's in, it's, I wanna say it's in the 40s right now, but I think it got down to like the 20s last night. Um, so yeah, a little chilly outside, and we're gonna go to the gym, in the Jeep, because my car's radiator still has a giant ass hole in it, so, that's fine. Let's go. I gotta come back for the camera. There's a whole ass turkey in my front yard. I don't know whose that is. I mean, I live, you know, not really, I don't live out in the country, but you know, we're, we're out here a little bit and like some of our neighbors have animals like goats and stuff, but I've never seen that turkey. <laughs> He's coming up over here. I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna go to the gym. Hopefully homie here um, finds his way back home. I don't know who he is, but yeah. All right, we're going to the gym. Careful who you cross, careful who you test. Cause I don't know how to back down, how to back down No, I don't know how to back down, how to back down Careful I'm a lion, don't test my pride Standing like a mountain, looking the devil right in his eyes
rise up, I rise up like smoke from a gun. Like a brand new sun. Since the day I was born a fighter, I rise up, I rise up like smoke from a gun. Like a brand new sun. Since the day I was born a fighter, I rise up, I rise up, I rise up. Just got back from the gym. It was a it was a pretty decent session. I went out of pocket a little bit. Um, the squats moved perfectly. Uh, I don't know if y'all could tell, but today we switched to a um, a squat bar instead of a power bar, which we normally use. Um, just because I'm going to be using a squat bar in competition, and the uh, the only difference is it's just a little longer. It's a lot thicker um, in diameter and. Uh, it's 55 pounds instead of 45, but I mean weight is weight. It just it doesn't make a difference um, so yeah Okay, I think we have a basic understanding on how to replace a radiator. I don't have the new one yet, but it's supposed to come in tomorrow, Thursday. But we can take out the old one today. That way it's ready for the new one. As you can see, it is beautifully disgusting weather outside. Perfect day to do this. Um, yeah. Basically, we're just gonna start taking uh, everything out until we get to the radiator, and then we'll take the radiator out and put in a new one. It's already leaking cool. Like, <laughs> I literally just jacked it up a little bit and it's already leaking more coolant. That's fantastic. All right, <sighs> let's figure this out. So a cool part, a cool part about all this is um, I have, this car is obviously got a manual transmission in it so there's no automatic transmission fluid cooling lines running to the radiator which just, it just makes things a bit easier, there's less stuff we have to pull off. Uh, I'm going to pull off the lower radiator hose and then uh, 
I gotta unplug these fans somehow too. Of a bit of an oil spill. Um, yeah. Just like that, we got the fans out. All right, this camera is about to die, so real quick. Um, radiator is out. It was literally just sliding it out after we got everything unbuttoned. So yeah, the car is ready for its new radiator, which should be coming in tomorrow. But y'all probably won't see the install of that until Friday, or I'll do it Friday. Maybe Thursday night. Next thing you'll probably see is like a workout or something. Oh, let me show y'all. The reason it was leaking coolant everywhere is this whole line right here is the crack that was um, pouring the coolant out of my engine. So, out of the radiator. So that's why we can go ahead and uh, lower the car. Honestly, probably I'm just going to leave this right here tucked up with the car because I'm going to use it again but yeah all empty now car's ready for a new radiator easy stuff I'll see y'all in a little bit guys the Z is back hopefully I'm uh this will technically only be the second drive of taking it on but Driving around last night, I'm not seeing any overheating problems. Um, I kind of gave up on recording this whole process because basically I replaced radiator, but that was like a huge pain in the ass for like the last part because I I like shoved in the radiator and these fans um, completely the wrong way, and it was just really stuck. So, and we're, um, well, so we got the radiator in, and then it's still overheated. It was building way too much pressure in the radiator. I replaced the thermostat on the car, which was, like, super easy, just kind of obnoxious to get to, and still overheating, and then we found out that there, on the Zs, you can't just bleed the system through the radiator, so when you, you put in new coolant, you have to get all the air out. So you let the car run with the radiator cap off and all the bubbles will come out and that gets all the air out. Um, but the radiator cap is not the highest point of the cooling system, like on most cars. And there's actually like a little bleeder valve that we had to use. Then you have to have that open and you have to like lift the car up on the front. 
it was a whole process, but I think we're good now, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get my grandpa's truck right now, because I don't have a truck anymore. And we're gonna go get a Christmas tree, so. <laughs> my radio just came on, that was weird. Yeah, we're gonna go do that, and then we're deadlifting, so. Should be a pretty good day. I'm pretty excited. So let's go. Came over here almost by that camera. So now I can get over, right? And now, pull. Come on, pull. Pull, right? So, the more of a version, the harder. So, it is like. made this outro like four times now and I just hate it each time but yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching um, you just saw we we're pulling on calibrated plates I'm gonna be trying to do that for at least half the time now and then as we get closer to meet I'll be a little more strict about um, pulling with them all the time but yeah they're just fancier plates they weigh exactly how much they are opposed to normal pound plates which could have little bit of variabilities in them you know they could be 44 or 43 pounds these are you know exactly reds the reds you saw me pulling with are 25 kg which is 55 pounds and they're exactly 55 pounds so a little different the jumps in weight are different you got to be a lot more you got to pay attention a lot more to like what you're putting on the bar because you know three three normal pl pound plates are you know that's 315 pounds but as you just saw three red plates is 375 pounds I think was it 375 or is it 365 okay yeah three reds is 375 I just had to look at my phone just because I could not remember for some reason um but yeah thanks for watching guys I know the car content was kind of all over the place I didn't get the install because it was, it was just kind of a mess. I got really frustrated at the car and like couldn't figure out what it what the problem was for a while. And obviously, we got it figured out now. The cars, it's been a few days. The car is running fantastic. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, that's about it. I mean, the channel is growing. You know, I'm seeing seeing some some slow very slow very small growth but it's it's noticeable and it's just really cool to see that so thank you for that um we're gonna keep on going so yeah see y'all in the next video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't if you want to see more of me bye